Okay, welcome to uh, this video. I'm, I'm going to be showing you another ZX81 game I've uh, recently written. This one is called Abduction. Uh, now, Abduction is a Defender clone. Obviously, back in the day, the ZX81 didn't really have a very good... Well, didn't have a Defender clone at all. Um, there were various games where the player could fly over a landscape shooting things, but uh, nobody sat down and tried to write a Defender clone with, with at least the, the basics in. So that's that's what I've done here. Um, <clears throat> it's got a play area of 8 screens wide by 23 uh, ca uh, rows down. Um, and the back, and that's basically a back buffer of, of um, 256 bytes across by 23 bytes down, and, and the action all happens in that back buffer, and then the game just works out where you are uh, in the buffer. There you can see the demo mode, uh, doing some scrolling, and it just works out which bit of the, the buffer it wants to display, and then dumps 23 lines from the back buffer to the physical screen. <coughs> So obviously with the ZX81 not having a lot of CPU time, um, <clears throat> and there are a lot of things to be doing in this game, a lot of aliens to move, um, a lot of bullets to, to fire, uh, people to manoeuvre around the, the, the hills, um, there's a lot going on, the collision detections to test for. Um, so I, I had to be on my toes to, to make sure I wrote some fairly efficient code and, and get this um, running at a decent speed. So let's, let's um, start the game and show you a little bit. Um, so let's press S, and here we go. Oop. So you can see you can speed up and slow down, and you can turn around and shoot the opposite direction to the, the one in which you're travelling. Pick up the people, and then deposit them wherever you want. Ooh, and crash. As you'll see, no explosions. Um, the lasers aren't quite... Uh, the same as you'd find in the arcade original, but that was because of the lack of CPU time. Um, the important thing I felt was to get the, the speed in there and get the momentum and get the feel of the game so that players would enjoy whizzing around and um, shooting the aliens and, and picking up the little men that, that were being abducted. Um, on later levels you do get um, spaceships that deposit mines. Uh, the mines aren't temporary as they are in the arcade version, they're permanent, but I'd, I had very little CPU time left to um, put in some um, AI for mines and, and to have them decaying and disappearing. Um, but other than that, as you can see, the the aliens behave more or less as they did in the arcade version. They Some of them go out and seek little people to abduct. Others just go crazy and, and just whiz around um, seeking the player and acting like maniacs basically. Ooh. Let's rescue that one. Okay. Oh it is somewhat frantic at times. I've given the player five lives because this, this is a very difficult game, and especially when you start to play when you first start playing it, it is not easy to play. Ah! <laughs> okay, right. So there you see a little bit of the action from the game. There's the high score table. Right, um, I'll show you the, the, the dump routine here. Um, right, obviously you've got the address of the buffer there. As I say, organised on a 256 byte boundary. Um, that's key. Um, we, we take the, um, the Y coordinate that for the bit of the window, um, so where the w window begins, and then we add that to the address. So we've now got the um, address of the, the buffer. 
Then we take the screen address, we um, skip the first new line character, and then basically all we do is we dump 23, row, uh, 23 bytes to the screen, one character at a time. Now, the, the important thing is that we keep the H register, the high byte, the same throughout. That way, if we're getting towards the edge of the buffer, we don't, well, we, we will automatically go back to the beginning if we cross the 256 byte boundary. So it basically gives us a wraparound buffer automatically. Um, so as you can see, we're dumping um, 32 characters to the screen, the entire row, and then when we get to the end, we restore the H, HL register pair, and then we move down to the next line, and then we continue. 23 rows dumped from the buffer to the screen. It's very simple, um, and it means we don't have to test that we're going over the past the edge of the buffer every byte, which would be very slow. Instead, all we do, do is we just make sure that we're keeping the H register the same, and that does it automatically for us, just four clock cycles. It's pretty quick. So, um, yes, that was how I did the, the buffering in abduction. Um, it's got all the usual stuff, of course. You've got redefinable keys. Demo mode, high score table. Uh, the warp and of course a hold button. There you see the mines getting laid. This is a demo of, of a later level. Um, and that's basically what you have. A fast Defender clone for the ZX81 at last. Only 40 years too late. Oh, um, you do get other aliens do uh, warping in occasionally. So um, that's another aspect of the arcade original that you will see. And then here we see the attack wave completed. Um, we've saved seven men there. You get an extra man at the end of each level just to make it a little easier because the game is very, very difficult. It's very easy to lose all your men very quickly. Full complement. So, level three. Gotcha. As we speed up, we start to catch up with the lasers, you'll notice. Oof, am I going to get to him in time? Yes, just. People who've seen my Spectrum games will know I'm rather keen on putting in explosions, but um, there was no uh, room for doing that on this, unfortunately. It was um, it was paramount that the we, we kept the speed up uh, to give the player the, the feel. Oh! Four lives. Who there? As you can see, the mine layers have kicked in on this level, so that's an extra thing to worry about. Hitting the mines and 
blowing up. Ugh. Down to two lives. Now when you see them moving fast in a straight line, that's that's when they're they're seeking out a person to abduct. The ones that are whizzing about crazy. Oh, right, now we've just had our last man abducted. So that's it. We're, the landscape's disappeared and we're just flying around willy-nilly, just shooting them. There's nobody left to save. And that's it, game over. 18,950. So, that's abduction for you.